Okay, good morning. To create the sketch for toy block, we want to go to our create button, select document. Let's title it toy block. Okay, and hit create. All right, let's hide our front and right views and switch our view to the top. Let's start a new sketch by clicking on sketch at the top. Select the top plane by clicking on it, left clicking. And then let's get our rectangle tool. Whenever I hover over my rectangle, or excuse me, any of my tools, they're going to tell me what they are and more about them. So the shortcut key for the corner rectangle is exactly the tool we want. So we're going to grab that, come over to my drawing board. And if I click once, and then move my mouse or move my cursor and then click again. I now want to type in the size. You'll notice that this is boxed in right here. So I want to type in three and then hit enter on my keyboard. And now the other value is boxed in. So I want to hit three on my keyboard and enter for that as well. So now we have a two dimensional square. Let's go ahead and make it three dimensional. So let's find our extrude tool at the top. By clicking on that directly, it keeps my first sketch selected. So now I get this menu and face of sketch one. Sketch one is what we just drew. Yes, that's what we want to extrude. And we want to make this a cube, so we want to change the depth to three inches. And it should stay solid and new. Those are already selected for me, and I want to hit the green check mark. Now, whenever I extrude something, I want to, excuse me, go to my view cube and click on my first option, my isometric view, okay? So just to make sure everything looks right, okay, which it does. Now I need to add a letter to each side. So let's go ahead back to our top view and create a new sketch. So I click on sketch and I want to select the side of my cube. So it should say face of extrude one here in my sketch plane. Now I need my text tool. Okay. So to add text, we're going to create a text box. Notice when I hover over the origin when I drew, was drawing that text box, which is undo and show it again. So I need to select my sketch plane again and get my text tool. If I click on anything and make this yellow, it's going to be locked to the origin. So I don't want to do that. I want to avoid the origin. That gives me the flexibility to resize and move my text box however I want. Okay, now I'm going to type my first letter. You can change your font here. You can, um, yeah, we can flip it around. You have some options here for that, but we're just going to leave it the way it is. And we want to resize our text. So I'm going to find my dimension tool at the top of my screen, and I'm going to click on the top edge, and then again on the bottom edge, and I wanna bring my cursor over to the right so my dimension line is easily seen, and I wanna change this value to 2.5, then hit enter. Okay. In order to move this letter and center it up, I need to deselect my dimension tool by clicking on it again. So now I can click on a corner and drag it around to center it. Okay, but we're not done yet. We need to make this a three-dimensional. So I'm going over here to extrude. My A is selected. I want to change these choices that have been already made for me. So if I go to my isometric view, it automatically is raising up my text by one inch. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my top view. I want to remove material and I want to change the value to 0.125. Okay, and then hit the green check mark and let's go back to our isometric view and make sure we're happy with that. So that looks good. All right, so I would follow those steps using my uh, view cube here, my home cube, excuse me, um, to select different faces 
to create a sketch, add my text, and then I would resize and center that text with my dimension tool to 2.5, enter, select the dimension tool, and now I can eyeball the center and extrude it. So these steps become repetitive. So I'm going to change that value to 0.125. Okay. And I've changed it to remove. And now I want to hit the green check mark and check my isometric view. Okay, so you need to navigate all around your cube, adding letters. Okay, so there should be a letter on every side. Okay, once you have that, then you would create your multi-view drawing in assembly one and turn it in.